So if we wanted to compute the, the, or to test whether or not population and AQI are related, we would start with the null hypothesis that the, that the correlation statistic in the population equals zero. And the alternative hypothesis is that the correlation doesn't equal zero. We're going to use a Spearman rank to conduct this test. Spearman rank. This is going to be a T statistic with N minus two degrees of freedom. So let's use a alpha of five percent, which means we've got a two-tailed test. We've got a uh, here N is small. We only have ten cities in our sample, so we have eight degrees of freedom. So we're going to have a T crit. And it's a two-tailed test, so the other T crit is over here. And we're going to have 2.5% of the area in each tail. I'm going to cheat and use Excel to find the critical values. We're going to use, instead of the chi-squared inverse, let's use the T inverse. T, sorry, we have to say equals T, and let's look for the T inverse, two-tailed. So the two-tailed, we want it at the 95% and we have n minus two degrees of freedom. n was ten, so we have eight degrees of freedom. I did this wrong. Shouldn't be ninety-five. Alpha, this is alpha, so alpha is five percent. So the critical value is two point three. The critical value is 2.3 and minus 2.3. Okay, step five is to actually compute this statistic. And to do that, we're going to use our table of values. And the first thing that we need to do is compute our, our differences between the two ranks. So we're going to take the rank of AQI and subtract the rank of population. Five minus three, four, three, minus two, minus seven, three, minus one, one, and minus three. Now we have to square those. Twenty-five, nine, sixteen, nine, four, forty-nine, nine, one, one, and nine. And the Spearman's rank correlation depends on the sum of this column, which is one hundred and thirty-two. Let's go back and compute the correlation statistic, which is equal to 1 minus 6 sum of d squared all over n cubed minus n. This equals 1 minus 6 times 132, that's the sum of d squared. n cubed is 1,000, and n is 10. So 1,000 minus 10 is 990. And this equals 1 minus 0 0.8, which equals 0 0.2. So here we are seeing a slightly positive relationship between the two variables. But now we have to compute the t statistic from this. Recall that t equals r times n minus 2 over 1 minus r squared, which equals 0 0.2 times 8. And 1 minus 0 0.2 squared is equal to 0 0.96. And this equals 0 0.577. 
So our T statistic is 0 0.577, which puts us just above the mean over here in the zone of acceptance. So based on this data, we don't see a significant relationship between population and air quality.